Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Photography Quest. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to manually and automatically stretch an image in PixInsight. Let's get started. So in order to stretch an image, first of all, we're going to have to use something called the histogram transformation. So we'll go to process, all processes, histogram transformation. And you want to turn up the midtone slider and turn down the black point in order to stretch it. But first, we got to select our view, which is this right here, done bodes. That's actually the image file. We want to select the image in here. That way it doesn't, uh, that way you can actually see your histogram right here. And that way you can determine where to stretch it to. Okay, so now we can start stretching it. First of all, I can turn up this midtone slider. Not all the way, just about right here is good. And then I can turn down the black point slider just a tiny bit. And then click square to apply that. As you see, now we get some more detail. So we're basically turning on the midtone slider to bring out the bright parts of the image. And we're basically pulling out that detail. The black point slider is basically to dim out the background and still keep detail. That way it doesn't get too bright. So now what we need to do is we need to keep doing the same thing. So I can brighten it up and I can darken it out. Okay, so there you can barely see bows coming out there. Now, in case you didn't know, you can actually live stretch this, and it has a weird purple haze, but that's for another video on how to get rid of this weird uh, purple fringe, and that's actually color calibration, and I'll show that in another video. So today's my primary focus is mainly on to stretch images. Okay, so what we're going to do is, in order to actually uh, see what you're doing, you click this little circle down here called Real-Time Preview, and it will actually show you what you're doing while you're stretching it. So if I turn this mid slider, as you see it gets brighter. Turn down the black point slider, it gets darker. So you can actually live see what you're doing. But you don't want to go with the black point slider over the actual grid or the histogram because what happens is it'll clip the other detail. And same thing with the white point slider or the mid-tone slider. Actually, white point slider is over here. Same with the mid-tone slider. You don't want to over um, stretch the image by going over this histogram because then it'll make it way too bright to where you can't turn down the black point slider now. All right, so that's how it works. And then you can't really, then you'll get too much noise and whatnot. So, so that's basically how the histogram works and everything. So this, that's basically, we're not going to actually apply that. So that's basically manually stretching it. That's how to manually stretch an image. Now, to automatically stretch an image in Pixel Sight, sometimes it doesn't work very well. But I'll show you how to do that. So I'll undo this right here until it's back to the original state it was. I'm going to process all processes. We'll open Instagram transformation again. But this time, we're going to also open screen transfer function. Now, as I said, the histogram transformation is actually, I don't know if I said this, but histogram transformation is what applies the actual stretching to the image. So this will automatically stretch the image, but it's only a preview. This is what it shows what you're getting. But it doesn't actually apply that to your images showing you a preview. It doesn't actually save that changes. Whereas histogram transformation does. That actually saves the changes to your image. So you see actually auto stretching it did a pretty good job. And you may have noticed that the color is not off. And that's because the channels are not linked together. And the fact, the reason why they're not linked or the reason why it's not color fringe is since they're not linked, they're not all in the same level, which means it can automatically choose the color for the image, which is perfect because then you can actually have a balanced image. So now, in order to actually apply this to this, we need to drag this triangle, which is an instance of what we just did here. And we could drag this instance over here and drop it inside of this histogram transformation. And then we can actually apply it to our image, to apply the changes the instance from this to apply the data that came from this and we can apply it to the actual image so now we can turn this off and there there is our real preview but you won't always want to keep the auto stretch because it doesn't do always a good job it doesn't always do a great job only sometimes you might have to manually stretch it so in this instance it did a good job but some others it won't just a note now, sometimes you'll have this like weird gradient. I'll just show you how to do it real quickly. Uh, in order to remove a gradient, you just go to background modernization, automatic background extractor. And, uh, and I could just do make sure the correction is on subtraction. And vignetting or gradients, this will work for either one. This is actually vignetting. 
Um, so it'll take a second here. It's going to subtract the background model. As you can see now, it uh, did a much better job, but you can still see that there's a little bit of leftover stuff from here. And actually, in order to fix that, you can go do a more precise background removal, which is dynamic background extraction, but we're not going to get into that today because it takes too long. Okay, so that's basically how to stretch an image in Pixinsight. I'll just keep this one. That's basically how to stretch an image in Pixelsight both manually and automatically. So basically that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video in clear skies. Hope to see you next time.